Hi, I'm Pastor Jake Rich, one of the pastors here at St. John's Lutheran Church. Do you like to receive invitations? Perhaps you receive some of them this year. Your sister's birthday, your best friend's wedding, your cousin's Christmas party, or some other event. Receiving invites is exciting for it shows that the person inviting you cares about you and wants to celebrate life's festivities with you. Do you know what the number one reason for people coming to church for the first time is? You might think they saw the programs offered at church or the pastor invited them. Those are good guesses, but the actual reason is my friend invited me to come with them. If you've ever heard of groups like the Barna Group or the Pew Research Group, you might have heard those groups study church-related items like church attendance and reasons why people go to church. Over the last few years, these groups have learned through their surveys that a church member personally inviting them is the top reason why an unchurched person comes to church for the first time. Have you ever thought about inviting your unchurched friend to church with you? Maybe you've never thought about something like that before. Or maybe you think, isn't that the pastor's job? To invite people to church? We pastors certainly do have that as one of our duties. But wouldn't it feel more thoughtful to your friend if you invited them? When our Lord Jesus gave his great commission in Matthew 28, go and gather disciples from all nations, he didn't give it only to his disciples or only to pastors and teachers. He gave it to all his believers, including you. He wants you to reach out to your friend with the life-saving truth of the gospel, that Jesus died for all people, including your friend, and he wants your friend in heaven with him forever. Is it easy to reach out to the unchurched? No. It's more comfortable for us to stay close to our church family and leave the reaching out to the pastors. But Jesus' great commission applies to you too, and he could be using you as his agent through whom he will bring someone to faith. So how do you reach out to your unchurched friend? Keep being a good friend to them. Meet them over coffee. Have them over to watch the Michigan-Michigan State game. Keep getting to know them. And as Jesus gives you the opportunity, witness to them. Take one of the bookmarks from our pews to give to them. Invite them to come to our trunk or treat event happening on October 31st. Even ask them sometime, will you come to church with me? I would love for you to meet my church family. This sounds like a big time commitment. It is. You must be ready to give lots of time to your friend. But if your interactions lead to your friend coming to church and eventually to faith in Jesus, wouldn't all that time investment be worth it? May that give you encouragement to reach out to your loved ones with the good news of Jesus our Savior. If you're looking for a church home, thank you for watching this video. We are happy you've stopped by our website. Please check out St. John sometime. We'd love to have you worship with us and to show you Jesus your Savior. Our worship times are 6 p.m. Saturday and 8 and 10.30 a.m. Sunday. God's blessings to you all.